hello friends welcome to this video in this video we will uh, discuss one question which was there in the UGC net exam mathematics in 2018 it was question number 45 for a set right so this is the question on numerical analysis you can see my video lectures on numerical analysis for going through the whole course so here i am discussing a question so the question was the values of a b and c such that this is a formula this is a quadrature formula given to you quadrature formula means you have an integral and it, it is actually an approximation sign and you are approximating that integral with some with a sum and you want to know what are the values of a b and c such that this formula this formula which is an approximation formula is exact exact means without any error for polynomials f of degree as high as possible it means that when you insert here instead of any function f you are putting here a polynomial so you want to know that the polynomial can be of degree 0 like this, degree 1, degree 2, degree 3. So the question is, what are the values of A, B and C such that maximum degrees are covered for the exact formula without any error. Right. So these are your options A, B, C, D. So let us see how do we proceed with such problems. So the idea is, so you have this formula given to you. 0 to h fx dx is equal to h a f of 0 plus b f h by 3 plus c f of h right and uh, let us make it exact for now you see there are three unknowns so we expect that we will be able to make it exact for three polynomials three degree polynomials so let us make it exact for polynomial of degree 0 So polynomial of degree 0 is a constant. So the simplest constant is f of x is equal to 1. So when you put f of x is equal to 1 in this formula, you will get 0 to h 1 dx is equal to h a. f of 0 is because f of x is 1. So f of 0 is 1. And f of x is 1 again. So f of h by 3 is 1 again. And c f of h is 1 again. So you get, you integrate it, you'll get x, 0 to h, this is h, a plus b plus c. So you will get h is equal to h, a plus b plus c. So you will get a plus b plus c is equal to 1. So this is your first equation. Right? Now let us make it exact for the next degree polynomial. So it was of degree 0, so next is degree 1. Now you know a polynomial of degree 1 looks like this ax plus b but the simplest polynomial of degree 1 is if you take a is equal to 1 and b equal to 0. So we are doing that we are taking the simplest possible polynomial of degree 1. So you have 0 to x h x dx. So what I am doing I am putting in star this star I am putting f of x is equal to x. So I will get f of x in place of f of x I will get x dx is equal to h a. Now f of x is x, so f of 0 is going to be 0 plus b, f of h by 3 is going to be h by 3 plus c, f of h is going to be h. So if you integrate it, you will get x square by 2, 0 to h and here you will take h outside, so you have h square b by 3 plus c, so h square by 2 is equal to h square b by 3 plus c h square will cancel you'll get b by 3 plus c is equal to 1 by 2 so this is your equation number 2 now let us make it exact for polynomial of degree 3 uh, degree 2 so again the simplest polynomial of degree 2 is f of x is equal to x square so put it in star again you will get 0 to h x square dx is equal to h a into f of 0 is 0 square b into f of h by 3 is h by 3 square c into h square so this is going to be h cube by 3 here you will take h square outside so you will have h cube and you have b by 9 plus c 
so you will get 1 by 3 is equal to b by 9 plus c so this is your equation number 3 so these are the three equations which you have got a plus b plus c equal to 1 b by 3 plus c equal to half and 1 by 3 is equal to b by 9 plus c so we need to solve these equations simultaneously so first of all you can solve these two equations so you have b by 3 plus c is equal to half and b by 9 plus c is equal to 1 by 3 you simply subtract so you will get 1 by 3 minus 1 by 9 into b is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so you will get this is 9 lcm so you will get 3 minus 1 b is equal to 3 minus 2 by 6 so you will get 2 by 9 b is equal to 1 by 6 so b is 1 by 6 into 9 by 2 so this is going to be 3 by 4 so once you have the b you can put it here so you have 1 by 3 is equal to 3 by 4 into 1 by 9 plus c so you'll get c is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 12 so which is 3 by 12 this is 1 by 4 so you get c as 1 by 4 right and now a plus b plus c is equal to 1 this implies a plus b is your 3 by 4 c is your 1 by 4 is equal to 1 so you get a plus 1 is equal to 1 so you get a equal to 0 so a equal to 0 b is equal to 3 by 4 are your options you a equal to 0 is here right so this is your option thank you